Hey there, BeardTube. Welcome to my channel if it's your first time. If not, it's good seeing you again. I'm Sean, aka Kid Ugly. Today, I'm doing another IPA from Big Truck Farm Brewery, Brewing out of Queenstown, Maryland. Um, this is their flagship India Pale Ale. It is their Crew Cab. Um, it used to have a different name. I did some research on it. Um, I wish I could remember what it was right now, but for the life of me, I'm drawing a blank on it. For some reason, they had to change it. They didn't say why. They just said that they changed it. Um, it is coming in at 6.3% alcohol, no IBUs on the can. And it says, our flagship IPA is made with a truckload of big truck farm grown Cascade Hops, an all-American classic ride with flavor as distinct as Four Doors were back in 19, 9, 1977, one of a kind. Um, I'm not sure where, oh well, yeah, obviously Cascade Hops in this. Um, it was canned on 11 15 22. So at the time of this recording, it is three months old. Um, I wish I could remember the name that they had before, but I cannot remember. I want to say Half Cab, but I feel like that might be one of their double IPAs, hazies that they have. But I want to say Half Cab, I don't know why. So let's crack her open and see what it's going to be like. Now, I have done their double IPA, and that was pretty good. Uh, I picked up a six pack of this. I found it in a local um, gas station. Man, I'm drawing blanks. I'm in northern Pennsylvania, so these guys obviously have some reach. Look at that clear yellow, kind of that wheat golden yellow, about a finger of foamy white head. Yeah, crystal clear, that almost piss yellow is the best way I can describe it. Golden, lots of bubbles coming up through it. It's got some good carbonation going on in there. Oh yeah, you got that you got good grapefruity citrus, earthy floral. Just like a traditional IPA. Nothing crazy, nothing, you know, you don't have, you know, it's just, I suppose like just a simple American IPA. Yeah, that grapefruit, floral, earthy, and cascade hops are really shining through on it. So let's give her a shish sh ship. Not bad at three months old. It's like a very light grapefruit juice. Tiny hints of mandarin oranges. You definitely get some of that more floral notes coming through on it. Not too much crazy malt body going on at all. Easy sipping. Light to no bitterness. Just a, a good IPA. Um, it's like nothing crazy. So I feel like this would be a good one. If somebody's trying to get their, their hand into IPAs or trying to get going into them, I feel like this would be a decent one for somebody new to IPA world. Yeah, not an insane bitter at all. It's there, but it's just barely there. And it's not a super juicy, like, you do get that a little bit of juice, but it's almost like a toned down citrus grapefruit juice. Not real powerful in your face. Real easy drinking. Um, something that would be good for sitting out back on your back deck, on your front porch, decent weather out, good springtime, summertime beer. I'm enjoying this. Uh, it's the second one I have from these guys. I hope to see some more from them at that at that gas station. They do tend to get some better beer there. Um, I am blessed with that in this area that I'm at. I'm right on that PA New York border, and with craft beer really blowing up, and it has been for the last you know decade or so. A lot of these gas stations are really starting to get better craft actual beer in, and these this gas station seems to do that. They always seem to get like the more oddball kind of 
breweries to come in, ones you haven't heard of, ones from a distance away. So I don't know who their ordering manager is there, but they're doing a fantastic job. Um, I see all kinds of stuff, and I was surprised to see this, especially being a Maryland brewery. I wasn't expecting to see it all the way up here, but it was a good pickup. If I see any more, I'm, I'm definitely going to pick up from these guys. It's definitely a solid IPA. Um, whoever their brewer is, he's really dialed it in, and they're doing fantastic with this. Uh, if you see it, I suggest picking it up. Uh, again, they're Maryland. I got in a very, very north Pennsylvania. Um, I did just see on their Instagram that I believe they're expanding to a couple other states also. So I'm assuming it's if, if you're in the Maryland area or states surrounding it, you should be able to get your hands on these guys. You see them, pick them up, give them a try. It's not bad. It's not going to be a waste of your time. It'll, it'll definitely be good drinking beers for you to try. So I'm going to give it a good four, you know, four out of five. So until next time, cheers.